I love, love, love skiing. And this week's video I'm super excited about because it's one of my favorite resorts to go skiing at. We are talking about Snowbird. And if you're looking for info on Alta, the ski resort that it's connected to, make sure you check out my other video linked in the description below. And if you don't know who this is, I'm Christine with Where in the World is CL, and I make travel videos like this to help you get up, get out, and go travel. And I'm gonna be breaking down this week's video on these topics to help you plan your trip to Snowbird, which again is an awesome mountain. So let's light a fire, grab a glass or styrofoam cup full of wine because by the way, I'm already on my next ski trip in California. Stay tuned for that video coming up soon and let's get into it. When you're driving into Alta Snowbird, Snowbird's the first set of mountains and parking lot that you'll see. It's a long parking lot with lots of shuttles that will take you to the main entrance and tram area. Given that it's a long parking lot, you might be walking quite a ways to get to the entrance. That is if you don't take the tram. For me, it was about a five to seven-ish minute walk, which really isn't that bad. But here's a helpful tip. There's several places that you can park that you can ski directly to your car from. So look for some of these exit points from the runs and try to park near one of them. You might have to, again, walk to the entrance, but you can at least ski back to your car, which was great at the end of the day. And if you're feeling that VIP status, they do have the option for valet parking that's super close to the entrance and that'll cost you $20. So as you come into the main entrance, they've got retail shops and restaurants. And once you make your way upstairs, you'll have the rentals, lift tickets, and tram. There are several areas around the mountain to do rentals, but at the top near the tram, the first option you're gonna see is Christie's. And to give you a sense of what pricing is like, let's just do an example. For a basic sport ski package, which is your skis, your poles, and your boots, if you walk into the Christie's location there, it's $42.95 to rent. You can save money by booking in advance and you get an additional 20% off or $34. For me, I like to get straight down to business and I like to show up with my equipment so I don't have to worry about it and I can go straight to the lifts. So I booked mine at Christie's in their Salt Lake City store in advance and got it for $26. So those are some examples of pricing so you can get a sense of what it's like. All right, let's talk about lift tickets. Lift tickets for Snowbird only is $145 and your Alta and Snowbird ticket is $160. There's a lot of different ways to save money so make sure you check the description below for more helpful tips. And if you have an Icon Pass, the awesome thing about this is you don't have to go to the lift ticket window at all. Just stick it in your pocket and go through the electric reader straight to the tram. You gotta love that. Lifts and runs, starting with the tram. The lifts and tram open at 9 a.m. and the tram runs every seven minutes or so. And you kind of pack into that car like sardines. So get ready to pretend like you're riding the New York City subway. But once you get to the top, all the views from the top, I love the views from Snowbird. It was so good that I FaceTimed my parents so that they could enjoy the view as well. One of the things Snowbird is known for is having the greatest snow on earth. Its claim to fame comes from its super high elevation. There are 14 lifts and 140 runs at Snowbird. And the way in which it breaks out looks like this. And for those advanced runs, they are amazingly terrifying. I love it. Know that if you bought the Alta and Snowbird ticket, you can ski across to both sides. And I said ski. Don't forget that Alta is for skiers only. Snowbird is for both. The restaurant selection on this mountain looks pretty solid with 16 restaurants. Guess how many I ate at? Zero. Sometimes I'm that weirdo that likes to pack a backpack full of water and snacks and I eat on the lift and ski super hard from first chair to last chair. But here's some info about some of the restaurants and see the description below for more. You got tired legs yet? I do. I think after six days of skiing all over Salt Lake City, my knees buckled like three times when I was at the airport. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a cheers with your hopefully not styrofoam cup full of wine. Share it with your friends and it, it really does help this channel, so I'd appreciate it. And I'm here every Wednesday making more videos. I'm skiing tomorrow in California, so stay tuned for that video and I will see you in the next adventure.